Hello everyone, Oliver here and today I'm with Galia living in the Ch Channel Islands and we are going to discuss how she chose the mystical star of purity painting for her art collection and it was actually something really special that's an interesting story because it was a present for someone and we will discuss that. So yeah, Galia, why don't you introduce yourself quickly and your interest in art? Hello, my name is Galia and I have had interest in art for life and I have a 10 years old daughter and uh, the more she grows up, the more involved she is and I think I am involving her gradually. So um, it was really wonderful to be able to make an extraordinary present for her, the star and the mystical star of purity, which is um, very, very unique work, as you can see. Mm -hmm. Cool, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's great. And Golly, when you remember back, when did you get first interested in art? Oh, that's an interesting question. Uh, who knows? Probably it is before our memories. <laughs> I think the the we genuinely human beings have a need for art. This is something like we need friendship, we need love, we have this uh, need for love. It's from inside. This is something probably a soul um, work really, something that the soul is getting nourished. And uh, I wouldn't say that, I, I really can't say a certain time, date or whatever. The only something that I really well remember is all the paintings in my home and um, one above my bed and I was uh, pretty large and I was very involved in it because I almost lived into it. <laughs> so I um, I have no doubt that the art has a huge impact on every one of us and as well helps us in very um, specific rare moments to follow follow our our genuine path in life to to get the focus to get the it kinds of um, gives us the the message that we need and inspires us, of course, to be ourselves more. And that was uh, one of the reasons I wanted to make this special uh, birthday present for my daughter, the 10th one, as to a message to be genuine and to follow her dreams as well. Nice, beautiful, cool. And um, so when we connected first back, right, but, but like, um, when did you first actually got interested in, in the mystical star of purity? Oh, the, uh, the work especially, it was um, when I have, um, we together with her, we were looking through your works and we were uh, admiring them, making nice comments and all of a sudden she, she saw this and she was like uh, very excited and very happy, very joyful about it. And uh, she said, that's fantastic, that's wonderful, I wish I had this. Mm -hmm. And this was a few months ago, and uh, I just heard that sentence, and as a mom, remembered it. And um, when her birthday was close, I decided that it's quite important to make a uh, dream make true to be true to become true and um yeah that that was the way very very how to say we were just sitting on the sofa and browsing your works and uh, very natural very spontaneous very uh, just um, just really fantastic moment uh, i will um, cherish for for life i have to say nice beautiful that it's definitely a great mother. That's that's a great gift. I mean, yeah, it's an it's a, it's a special gift. It's not something you you know you you get you can buy anywhere. It's something yeah. It's something really special. Yeah, yeah. Um, it is special in many ways. I th I always try to. Obviously, we were, we live in a world. 
uh, when we we are very good in uh, like consumers and in consumption and the children without realizing we make them like this just because this is the way the environment we are mm -hmm. and I try to I have a son as well uh, 12 years old I try to raise them in a, a manner to appreciate more the experience in life less the material but the painting is um it is a material object but in its message in its uh, way it is an experience for the viewer mm -hmm. and um the other special thing is that um, the child could um, dream could fantasize could get into it could uh, look every time next time uh, could find something at a little tiny detail more and the beauty is always there and the other thing that I really love about it is that um, buying an artwork you kind of invite the personality of the artist so uh, we have invited someone very joyful <laughs> at home uh, and um, how to say very full of love, I think, as well. This is the message that we instantly have um, coming into the room. And um, yeah, it does bring, even in a cloudy day, it does bring um, a lot of hope, a lot of joy and uh, good vibes in our home. Amazing. I'm so happy for that. Yeah, it's definitely, there's definitely yeah. my love and my joy in it because it's what I do really do love doing so yeah it's amazing it's my pleasure and um, so I want to know a little bit more I, I know that you are already invested in artworks before so like yeah tell, tell us a bit about your st story how did you get actually in collecting art Oh, um, for many years I, I just uh, loved to visit galleries and uh, being uh, yeah it was uh, pleasure just pleasure really and one day a few years ago um, I was present at um, something like a talk about abstract art which I always love and um, there was a, a painting very um, how to say uh, brave if you like brave brush brave color is quite uh, and I passed by it literally do not pay much attention but something made me come back and look at it and the more I looked at it the more um, it had an instant impact and uh, was uh, I just at this moment realized that I need this something at home because it has a message for me and the message was um, really as I said the, the artist in a way is present through the artwork um, the message was about uh, the freedom of expression because in our in our society in our life we have so many requirements and so many uh, boxes to tick that sometimes we forget to be ourselves and to express ourselves which is even more important because we have to be present with our true nature and uh, true message to the world so to express ourselves is an ultimate um, of an ultimate importance I think and that's what I'm trying to teach my children as well so um, yeah I, I bought it I had it at home and um, it was just all the time every morning waking up with this painting till today I had uh, the messages I needed in my life life as to follow the path of my life and my life changed very much since then and I think the painting had um, without uh, this subtle energy and this subtle presence without uh, interfering too much it was constant um, and it was wonderful so yeah um, and the, the good thing about the other if some, somebody would like to look at the very very practical side it's 
very interesting because the, the painting has tripled its um, uh, if I I have to to sell it now uh, it will be the price will be tripled <laughs> so the the artist has developed become more uh, popular and things like that so it is an investment as well uh, which is um, just amazing to have it uh, to be able to enjoy it all the time mm -hmm. to be able to communicate in your own deep personal way with uh, it and uh, the practical side is there cool <laughs> amazing and when did you first start seeing art as an asset class uh, I think this was the moment this was the moment when I uh, before that I bought like just because I like something or uh, just I wanted I love to buy art for my family members for example for a wedding or something like that but it was more on the emotional side and then um, it was um, the realization that uh, indeed um, with the time it is quite likely that um, the the, the price will grow the, and uh, it is a proper asset and uh, buying um, this store for me now this is uh, I made a wish for for myself and for her that uh, this is an asset uh, in her in her future I mean at the moment it's more the moral on the moral side and like value and like beauty and all the the lovely um, impact on her mind and mm -hmm. imagination, but uh, in the future, I looked at it as a, as a, as an asset as well. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah. So my question was the next question would actually be: so was this piece? I mean, I know this piece was for for your daughter. We we like we talked yeah. about it. So we go now a bit deeper into that. So was this like your first thought? Was it to com commemorate? your daughter's 10th birthday or was it uh, to as an investment or was it like both combined so um, i would say that my first thought was to make a dream come become through uh true and um to to bring pure joy pure joy but uh, you can make a child happy in many many ways <laughs> she had a little penny board for her birthday <laughs> as well and it has brought joy to her uh, uh, but it's a of course totally different uh, the painting um, came with many more uh, a different type of excitement, a different type of excitement, and made it uh, very special, very, very special. And this was uh, the other thing. I mean, uh, there are not many ways to make uh, someone feel really, really special. And for her 10th birthday, I really wanted to, to make her feel that. And uh, the painting, um, yeah, did it, made it, it happened. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, it was more, more about uh, bringing joy to my to my uh, daughter. But uh, as I said, uh, um, of course, we, how to say. We know, or we try to know how to spend our money, and uh, as a as an adult, uh, this was uh, very serious as well. <laughs> How for me, it is an investment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, makes for sense. For me personally, for me personally, it is for her. It is something different, but for mm -hmm. me, it is an investment mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when she grows up, probably she will also start seeing that as an investment, especially when it grows. I do hope so. I do hope and I have no doubt because you are... Uh, I love your energy, your... your how to say... Um, many people um, do art, but I think you're very honest. 
courageous and very uh, brave to really express yourself. And this energy is on on the canvas. Mm -hmm. And um, this makes the art all of a sudden so influential and so lively and so um, easy to to connect with. Mm -hmm. Uh, and from that point of view, I think that your future as an artist is um, fantastic. It is fantastic, and Thank I wish, and I wish you. <laughs> I'm you. sure, but um, I, I really uh, am expecting, and I'm I'm curious for uh, to see every other new painting because they are so different, <laughs> and this is it is like a journey. You take it on a journey, and you don't know even the direction. <laughs> so uh, she might be, uh, she might be a very herself um, your collector, <laughs> yeah. which I love to see. Really yeah, nice, beautiful. And what was your daughter's reaction when she saw the painting, and you told her that's her present? Oh, it was a fantastic moment. Thank you for asking this question. It was, um, would you like to come, Mina? Please come. <laughs> it was, uh, please just have a seat here. Hello. Hello. Uh, this is Mina, and uh, this is the lovely girl who one evening before her birthday, I uh, have seen a big package, quite big, I have to say, in the um, back part of the of the house. And she said, oh, we have something delivered, mom. Do you know that? And I was very surprised, quite frankly, because I didn't, I was at work and uh, I didn't know that we have left the back door open. So they have managed to go straight into the house and deliver it, which was lovely. And I wanted to be a surprise for her, but she found it indeed. And I said, yes, this is um, a birthday present for you, but it will be open tomorrow. Are you happy with that? And she was uh, very kind to wait <laughs> and not push. But she said, is it a painting? Is it Oliver's? <laughs> uh, which one? <laughs> and I thought, oh, this will be the surprise. Yes, it is Oliver's. And um, but you will be surprised tomorrow. So the next day, very early on her real birthday, uh, the first thing that she did, opening her eyes, was what? She... Going downstairs and looking at painting <laughs> and um, getting my mum to help me open it. Yes, with big scissors, we struggled a little bit, but we opened it and it was the amazing moment of wow, <laughs> both of us. And quite frankly, there was another surprise even for me, because when when we have seen it on the, on the picture only, we didn't realize it is 3D and we didn't realize <laughs> that uh, it is a star. Mm. So we just uh, kind of, yeah, and all of a sudden we've seen a star there. <laughs> and I said to her, uh, you're my star and this is you. <laughs> and uh, of course, the name of the painting is just fantastic. I think very appropriate as well. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, so that's the wonderful uh, memory you have helped to create and uh, will cherish it for life, I think. Amazing. It was a very touching moment, very wonderful to share, to share. Beautiful. So the art connects people in very many ways, doesn't it? Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Amazing, yeah. And also the name, actually, I was not consciously thinking about like your, it's the present for your daughter, but actually it's uh, kids are so pure. And yes. yeah, but my girlfriend always tells me that I'm so pure. And uh, the, I think this is this spirit for from the kids, this purity and honesty. And yeah, and it's funny that this is now it's a present for your for your daughter. And it's even like it really connects the name actually, like the star of purity. Isn't isn't this cool? He, so he made it. He, he, he got it somehow 
through your subconscious, probably uh, subconsciousness of some kind of divine way, so so way. Or um, I kind of believe that uh, we, as um, as people say, we are uh, souls with human experience. Uh, we are connected already somehow. And you're very right that um, I think she likes um, she. Through me, she knows other artists, and we very often look at artworks very often. But you are her favorite one. Oh, thank and, you. <laughs> yes, and I think this is um, a great compliment for you because. Um, this is a new generation, as you can see. <laughs> this is the future, and this is a proof that uh, your your work is um, really would be very well appreciated by um, the, the the people, um, the, the the new people <laughs> coming on Earth uh, as well. And um, yeah, it's wonderful. I'm really it. It was an experience for us to to have this, and I hope that it is an experience for you as well to connect in a way with the buyers of your artwork. I think this makes your uh, how to say. Uh, I hope it brings a bit more energy and a bit more warmth, if you like, in the, in the whole uh, process of um, presenting your art and mm -hmm. uh, selling it as well. Yeah, yeah, amazing. I mean, great story. I mean, I could, like, I could picture everything in my mind, how it happened, how the, the painting was there and your daughter looked at it and how happy she, happy she was. So, Amazing. I'm. I'm also. I'm also happy. That makes me happy as well. I mean, that's it. Yeah. yeah. I'm very happy about that, and, and I know this is another inspiration for you. <laughs> yes, very much. Very much. Thank you. Yeah, I yeah. think so. Yeah. But yeah, we are very. We are really, really uh, grateful, and of course, we have shared um this with all our friends and they were wow wow the colors the, the everything was so there were many many whoa mm. <laughs> uh around around this yeah, so, so you had people already coming coming over and see it as well yes yes and her her friends my friends and i've shared it on Facebook as well and we had uh, uh, many uh, yeah how amazing and how wonderful and quite frankly um, I kind of like to share an experience as a parent with other parents and to make them think that um, we do not really realize how much art could be present in our child's lives, uh, children's lives. And um, if we could kind of stimulate this, if you could make it a value, just to, to bring this value in our modern world, uh, to, to, to kind of raise awareness about uh, children and art but in a way we expect children to 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 do to, to, to paint to create themselves which is fantastic but i think that uh, there's a lot of uh, room about to realize that uh, children appreciate art as much as adults and probably more <laughs> quite frankly so this is something that is quite um, nice to to have in their lives to have in their lives and mm. uh, yeah so I'm very happy parent <laughs> because it, it, it has made my daughter happy, and this is every day indeed. And she loves the colors, mm -hmm. her favorite. Uh, you probably have to ask her about uh, which are her favorite colors. Yeah, what are what, what are some of your favorite colors? Um, my three favorite colors 
Uh, blue, white, and yellow or gold, and the painting has all three of them. Oh, wow. <laughs> the perfect fit. <laughs> perfect fit, yes. <laughs> How did you do that, Oliver? <laughs> How did you know the exact uh, colors? <laughs> just like came through, I don't know. <laughs> yes, yeah. exactly. You, you knew that you were doing, uh, making a painting for um, a girl called Mina, <laughs> 10 years old, yeah. a mystical star of purity, yes, <laughs> and uh, here it is, it's um, yeah, real pleasure, real mm -hmm. pleasure. Yeah. Cool, yeah, for me too, for me too, it's amazing. So, I want to talk a bit like for the people who are not collecting yet, you know, to, to... Bye, Mina. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> so, yeah, for the, for the people that are not collecting yet, you know, that... Um, so, what, what, what is your process for selecting the right painting? Oh, um, I haven't thought about that, but... Um, I don't... <laughs> When it comes to art, we we let us, I let myself be very intuitive, and um, people say that you have to connect with a certain artwork. So uh, um, it's probably the aesthetic, the pleasure of seeing something. You don't know why you like it, but you like it because it makes you feel good. Um, and I, I am, I tr tend to like art which um, all of a sudden uh, changes my, my, the way I feel at the moment. For example, if I sit down and look, open my um, screen, yeah, my phone and have, have a look, quick look at some artworks and things. And um, many of them wouldn't um, wouldn't touch me if you like, but all of a sudden one could make could bring tears, could bring joy, could bring any type of emotion, any kind of emotion, and then I know that um, this. This artwork has a message for for me, for myself personally, and um, it is very wonderful to. Um, I do look at the artworks of uh, very famous and very popular artists, but um, it sometimes you can see that an artist could being liked for a certain type of work. Um, would would keep doing kind of the same, and this is something that I quite dislike. I have to say, and uh, the artists in my in in my collection and uh, who I choose are uh, most of them are extremely diverse. I mean, their works are diverse. Um, it's one person, but uh, so different techniques, so different approaches, so different vibes, so different energy. And um, the, what um, the uniting thing, the, the feature, is their freedom of expression, mm. their honesty, and I would say their emotion. You can feel when... Um, the artist was deep into the work with his emotions, with his whole being or her whole being. Uh, this somehow we, I think, we have senses to percept, to 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 grab this, and um, yeah, this makes the artwork or the artist chosen and from that point of view you're very unique because your your artworks are really really different I mean I'm laughing because uh, in my mind at the moment I have a few <laughs> and they are so so different but as I said very passionate very honest very free very full of this 
wonderful energy, if you like. And uh, this is what we like to bring home. And this is what we like to to give to our friends, to our family. Um, it's mm. precious, really, present sometimes. I would say precious because, as I said, the art is on your wall and you see it every day, if you like, of course. But uh, you choose to do that and uh, you invite sometimes the artists for um, a bit of conversation <laughs> uh, through the art work. So, yeah, it is a very, very, very special way of communicating. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, okay, so you said like, yeah, so it's about how you feel, like your process of selecting all this you look at the art and you also it's it's important that um how you feel so if you f start feeling something it means it has a message for you and that's yes. how you get interested in a, in a piece yes quite okay, okay. Quite. Yeah. yes because it already i am already in conversation with it and this conversation is on a very deep or very high i don't know which but it's on a different level from the the very uh, material level, uh, the very so it is um, this magical moment that uh, nobody could um, really explain how how art uh, could so much um, influence us or uh, make us within a, a minute could. Uh, um, could really, really bring. I had this experience a few times, like literally tears from my eyes, and I was like, "Whoa, what's going on?" And for example, so um, yeah, it is. It is a moment of connection, and uh, that's why I so much wanted to 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 make this present for my daughter because when she saw this painting, she was. Uh, very alive, very, very joyful. I, I have seen her in her very uh, fantastic uh, way. Uh, obviously, it has touched her. Obviously, it has touched her. So, yeah, mm -hmm. I think this is this is up my way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Beautiful. Amazing. Yeah. So let's talk about when we go a bit back to the investment. Like mm -hmm. you said, like one painting tripled over time. So why do you think this painting tripled? Ah, uh, <laughs> um, first of all, because I think the artist is uh, fantastic. And why is he fantastic? Because he um, he's very honest and he's very brave and he 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 goes into his, um, he creates his art listening to music and uh, uh, I had the pleasure to talk uh, to him about that. Uh, he's so thoroughly involved into the music and the artwork at this moment, out totally out of the other world. Mm. And um, you can feel that because uh, what has um, impressed me uh, a lot was that the painting is just literally splashes of color, if you like, very many colors, but there there was no chaos, there is nothing antagonism, it, it felt very harmonic and uh, this is a harmony from somewhere from inside. I really don't know how artists make it. <laughs> if I knew I would be an artist, <laughs> but it's something I think divine. It's a moment of reaching um, really at the levels of, uh, I don't know, expression, communication or being human. And um, of course it is um, as well, uh, to, to the way the artist would present, would communicate with um, the public, um, and um, there is a lot of practicality as well because we 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 live in a three D world. 
So it's both. It's a, a combination between um, talent and skills and um, the the way the, the art is, and of course the the selling the selling itself. I think it is an important uh, point mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. as well. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. Yeah, that was for me actually when I realized, you know, selling, yeah, yeah, okay, like the success of the artist is not just dependent on his talent or, yeah. or like his skills, but as well on how well he can sell himself. And, and so this for me meant, oh, wow, you know, I can, you know, take, um, take responsibility and advantage and actually really get, get good at all things. Like, so it's not just my talent and if I'm lucky, I get discovered. Because this way, also for the collector, if this would be the case, it's a lock game. You need to, if you buy one, you just hope that it will be, yeah, will like, yeah, tr triple in value, as you said, or, or even more. But if you know, you know, it's also a business game, actually, for artists as well. Then you also see, okay, how is this artist presenting himself? And if, if he is doing well, it's also a sign that it's likely that the painting will, will appreciate on value. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And I, I, I think that, how to say, it's a little bit of old fashioned understanding that artists are uh, people who just have their art, yes, their uh, paint, their canvas, and things like that. And it's a very narrow understanding because we are human beings with so many capacity, I mean, great capacity, great potential in many, many areas. And I'm quite certain that, uh, for example, our conversation now, which I really uh, enjoy, and thank you for inviting me for that, um, is in a way stimulating for you. Sometimes it could be in not very pleasant way stimulating, could be eventually, but in any way, it um, it will uh, bring something to your uh, perception, to your uh, understanding, and only if you like the energy of uh, of the smiles of your uh, uh, buyers of your artwork. So um, I think the experience of the uh, meeting meeting the people who buy the art is very enriching um, for the artist, I hope, and I believe, I'm quite certain about that. Otherwise, um, uh, it's like a nice, how to say, it's a start of a dialogue which you don't know when it will end, probably. It won't, <laughs> and it is. It could be four years ahead, and we could have this uh, a conversation like that in another ten years, and my daughter could have chosen a few more artworks. I could have uh, made special presents to my dear people uh, with your art, or I could have it for myself. And if it is in ten years, this similar conversation uh, will know that we have our parts and our ways and um, it's just a relationship which you build with uh, in a so fantastic way it in a very delicate and very very beautiful way I think mm -hmm, mm -hmm. great which, mm -hmm. yes yeah, yeah great 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 cool so if we summarize everything like so in the end of the day why did you decide to add an original hoyas painting to your art collection uh, to summarize it's <laughs> um summarize um difficult moment uh <laughs> In one word, uh, because this is art, which this is work, uh, the mystical star of purity, it is because it made us happy and keeps making us happy. And uh, it is, 
I think this is this is the most important. This is the most important. And if uh, the artist could bring this to people, uh, I think he has done his job. <laughs> uh, and of course, um, for me, one more time, the investment is in, important. It is important and I really um, wish you luck and real um, to never doubt yourself and to to just keep going and keep the, the, the love for what you're doing because um, um, we are curious we are waiting for your new new works <laughs> there's some more exciting work coming definitely <laughs> Good. Yeah. Real, real, yeah. fantastic. Cool. Really. Yeah, <laughs> nice. And uh, Galia, would you also recommend to other art collectors to invest in a piece of my portfolio? Of course, yeah. So a tough question, and that was, um, I mean, when we shared the the pictures with my um, daughter and with uh, friends, family, her friends. It is um, one more time, as I said, uh, as a parent, I'd like to to attract the attention um, and to make other parents realize that. Um, it's not only about um, how to say make experiences out in the street for your children, yes, or buy some clothes or whatever um, little objects. You can bring experience in the room of your child through art. Um, so, yeah, re with great, great pleasure, I would um, share. And I am sharing your other works because I have, this is my daughter's favorite. I have other favorites. <laughs> uh, so, and uh, there are quite a few, I have to say. So, yeah, we are very, very excited about your work. Cool. Amazing. Thank you so much. So, and also, yeah, for... Just to know for the other collectors, like what sort of art collectors would you would you say would be interested in my art style? I think that your style is very how to say, as you said, uh, you you have uh, your child in yourself alive. The, the purity, the honesty, the playfulness, the energy, the um, the if you like this, uh, the daring there to there. No, not many adults there to there. <laughs> so you have this, mm. and um, the any adult or any child, more often adults who sub. Consciously, even not consciously necessarily, is looking for a bit more freedom, a bit more love, a bit more warmth, a bit more daring to dare, would uh, connect with your art. So it's very universal, I would say, very, very universal. Um, I mean it. Mm, nice. And you can see uh, age group doesn't matter as well. <laughs> it true. is indeed the benefit. <laughs> mm -hmm. True, true. Yeah, cool. So, and if someone is now on the fence, that means like he is he is eventually looking at my artworks, but he's not sure should I invest now. You know, there there are probably some doubts coming up. I don't know. It's uh, for for him or herself or a present or whatever it is. But wh why would you say it's important? to take action now? Oh, because, um, how to say, for example, with my daughter's present, um, I could have forgotten this sentence, oh, I wish to have this painting, to, this painting to be mine. As a mom, 
we all have it after lockdown, we all have our uh, challenges and things like that, and we all have different priorities, financial and things like that. And I could very comfortably <laughs> forgotten about this sentence, yeah. But um, if something comes so spontaneous uh, out of your soul or the, somebody's closest soul, it is for a reason. And uh, I don't like sometimes in life we wish to have acted a little bit earlier, to have not missed a moment. Sometimes when uh, time passes, it's a little bit too late. There is not that much excitement. There is not too much, uh, how to say, um, value in whatever it is. So the moment, the timing is uh, quite important as uh, to have its real um, influence on the being you want to influence, um, in the case, my lovely daughter. So, yeah, I don't think that if I have uh, uh, made this present in another five or ten years, <laughs> um, if it was possible, let's say it is possible, she would be uh, in that very genuine way excited as she was just now and for me uh, this is the moment when i wanted to make it special and uh, uh yeah so um, art is not like buying art is not like buying um, tomatoes <laughs> out on the market <laughs> it's a totally different experience and thanks god we we can do that, uh, but uh, we we just have to to think in a totally different way. We have to come out of the box of a consumer and buyer, and to look at this money spent uh, from a totally different perspective. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. So, Galio. Um, what for everyone who is watching? What's your number one advice for future or current art collectors? Number one advice: Oh, yes. buy Oliver Oliver's work. <laughs> I have to say, <laughs> no, I'm honest. It's not a joke. I really, I mean, at at in the back of my mind, I have at the moment four of your paintings, which I'd love to have. <laughs> So, yeah, I, I'm saying this with uh, great pleasure and great honesty. Yes. Cool. Amazing. Thank you so much. I feel honored, really. Thank you. Yeah, and the pleasure is mine. And we are honored just here <laughs> uh, every, every, every day and making us really happy. Thank you, Oliver. Amazing. Thank you about that. Yeah, thank you so much. So where can people find more about you if they want to talk more about your experiences? Uh, it is, um, I, they could go a uh, modern interior art studio .com and if they would like to send an email uh, to connect, uh, contact, it is info at modern interior art studio .com. So thank you for this question. Um, it's, um, uh, the, the, um, world of art is uh, absolute uh, no limits <laughs> and we people interested and in interacting in this world uh, are i think are stimulating each other and nurturing each other and it will be always a great pleasure so please be welcome amazing um, Thank you so much. That's, that was a great interview. It was a pleasure. Um, I, I really loved the conversation we had. And I think this is a, a special interview because it was a present for your daughter. So it's very, also for me, it was something new, something special. So thank you so much. Thank you, everybody, for watching. And yeah, I wish you all the best and hope to see you soon. Thank you so much, Oliver. Real pleasure. We are honored as well. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>